presented by Caltech. The Caltech Glee Club is made up of students, alums, faculty, staff, and various other members of the Caltech community. These singers dedicate three hours a week to rehearsing together, building their vocal instruments, working on rhythms, phrasing, tuning, vowel blending, not easy, music reading, interpretation, learning to pronounce Latin, Italian, German, French, Russian, or the hardest of all to sing, <laughs> English, right? <laughs> Sounds rather technical for a bunch of people who really need a break from their scientific endeavors. But these Caltech folks were born to sing, as you are about to hear. You'll find it meaningful to turn in your program to pages eight and nine for translations of this evening's choral selections. We'll begin with two short pieces from the Italian Renaissance, sung by the chamber singers of the Caltech Glee Club. It felt so nice over here, I thought I'd come back just for a little moment. It is, it is such an honor for me to make music with these folks. A few of them had never sung in a choir until October when we first got together. Some of them, of course, are more seasoned choral musicians, but it's such a pleasure to hear how we begin at the very beginning and how far they come in a very short period of time. I could not be more, more pleased and honored to work with the, the spirits and the minds that you see in front of you. The, the next two pieces we're going to, to perform have a little something in common. They're kind of different sides of the same coin. That's not even true. First, we're singing Brahms, which is its, its own 
paper money, in fact, a credit card even. The Brahms that we're going to sing is based on a hymn tune, and you'll hear the hymn tune sung variously uh, throughout the piece, the Cantus Firmus, and then there are several verses, and each verse has a different harmonic setting, and there's just wonderful counterpoint, and I think the Brahms will be very, very beautiful to your ears and to your hearts. And then two pieces sort of based on, um, on Mary and, and Eve, who are, again, those are the two sides of the same coin. Um, the, the Rachmaninoff is from the All Night Vigil, one of the several pieces uh, written for the Russian, Russian Orthodox liturgy. And this is the setting, the traditional setting of Ave Maria uh, in Church Slavonic, not Russian, but they sound about the same to me. Uh, and, then, and then the flip side is Ave Eva. Sometimes, uh, you know, the, the very famous text, of course, Ave Maria, if you take the Ave, which really means hey there, uh, or hail, um, and you, you turn it in, you, you flip it backwards, it's Eva. And so the final piece is Ave Eva, uh, hail Eve, uh, which, is, which is sort of an interesting take on uh, the female persona. Uh, we think she's a little, the next to last chord is a little bit, a little bit naughty, and so we give you two sides of, of Ave. <laughs> 